everyone welcome to the gate engineering online learning classes in this video we will discuss a very important problem regarding the equivalent resistance and this problem is very important for all kind of the competitive exam and this question is asked many times in different exams so what we are going to do today let's see we will have to find the equivalent resistance r a v this is the a point and this is the b point okay so this is the b and this one is the a point we will have to find the resistance, equivalent resistance r a v across the diagonal of a, this resistive cube if we connect all the resistor in the same pattern so a cube look like this and one important thing is that we have one assumption that all the resistors value are the same here all the resistors value are the same here now we will see how we can compute the equivalent resistance for the given circuit let's see first what we will do we will find out some nodes we have one node c here we have one node here okay we have one node here so we will find all those nodes one node is here node of vertices sometimes we say it is vertices and uh, this is the node so we have some nodes we will check the distance from node a and node b here we can see that we have a given one node c which distance is one that means one resistance is connected between a and c but distance is two here one and two between b and c okay this is the one path and other path is this one and two so you can see that distance is two from c to b so potential will be same for other nodes if distance from a is one and distance from b is two so just like that if we see at this point if we see at this point this distance is one from a and this distance is this point distance is two from b one and two from all the two branches from one and two you can see that okay so this distance point will be the same as c so let us and consider this is the c so this is the equipotential points these two points are equipotential in the similar way we will check for other points at this point we will see distance from a is one and from b distance from b is two one and two similarly here one and two so these three points are c okay now point is that we are computing the distance we are checking we are testing the distance from a and from b for a particular node if distance are same for uh, the all the nodes so all those nodes will be equiprobable that means uh, equipotential not equiprobable equipotential so what does it means potential will be same for all those points that means these three points will be that means these three points will be connected to each other first point is that okay we see here we have one point d is here okay let's see what is the distance from a one and two we can go by this path we can go by this path we have two resistors connected in the similar way here we have two resistor one and two between a and d okay and distance from b is only one one resistor is connected here in the similar way this point is this point will be also d why here we can see that this point is also connected with the two resistors from a so one and two so its distance is two from a and its distance is one from b similar way it is connected from two resistor from other side also and it connected from one and this point is also same as d so what is happening this resistor is also connected with the two resistors from a side so length or distance is two from a and distance is one from b so what is point these three points are d these three points are d so conclusion is that these two these three points are connected at the same potential or equipotential we have and these three points are connected at point d or equipotential so let us assume this is the a point and this is the b point okay between a and c we have a three resistors one two and three so we assume that 
this is the C point. Green point is the C, and three resistors are connected between A and C here. Okay, and C and D. Here we can see that this is D, this is D, and this is D. You can see that from this C point, two resistors are connected with the D. So we we can assume this is the D point. Purple one is the D point, and from C, two resistors are connected to the D. From this node, similarly from this node, two resistors are again connected to the D. And similarly from this C node, two resistors are connected from the D. So total six resistors are connected between C and D. Total six resistors are connected between C and D. And from D, three resistors are connected from the B. Three resistors are connected to the B here. So the signal pattern, uh, so means circuit will be. So circuit will be look like this. Okay. Three resistors are connected between A to C, and six resistors are connected between C and D, and three resistors are again connected between D and B. Now we can we know all the resistors are same value, or small R is given here, same resistors value. If our resistors are connected in the parallel, it will divide by the number of resistors for the equivalent resistance. If we compute the equivalent resistance for this circuit, we will get R divided by three. Equivalent resistance will be the rest. Equivalent resistance will be resistance divided by number of resistors. So resistance here, if we will get R divided by six, and here we will get R divided by three. This is the case in the parallel equal resistance. So what we are getting? R divided by three plus R divided by six plus R divided by three. If we solve it, we will get five R divided by six. So this is the general question. What is student do? Usually they remember the equivalent resistance value in the case of the diagonal uh, of the cube. Uh, but you should have idea about how we are getting this thing. If you have asked, we ask questions. If all the resistance value are equal to five ohm, what will be the equivalent resistance? Just substitute R is equal to five. You will get twenty five divided by six. This is the one approach. Now come to the second approach. In second approach, now we have already checked that all these points are C, and all these three points are D. We have already checked that these are the Q potential. These three D are a Q potential, and these three C are Q potential. So let us assume we connect one battery between A and V. Okay, its potential is V. Battery voltage is V. And current I is flowing from this resist, this voltage source. Now all these three points are equal. Potential is same, so current will flow. Same current will flow in all these three resistances, and the same current means it will divide by three. I divide by three in this branch. Okay. Similarly, I divide by three in this branch, and I divide by three in this branch. Now I divide by three is I current I divided by three is flowing in this resistors A to C. Now we'll check what current will flow in these resistors. Potential at this point is same as the potential at this point. So current will be divided equally here. At this, its value will be I divided by six. It will divide in two resistors or two branch. I divided by six. Now this current. And similarly, current I divided by six is coming from here because this is I divided by three. This is I divided by three, and this is also again I divided by three. Okay, so now this I divided by three is dividing in two resistors, I by six. And I by six. So here I divide by six is coming, and here I divide by six is coming. So it will add, and we will get I divide by three here. Okay. Now we'll apply the. Now we know the current in all these three branch. Now we can apply the KVL here. We can apply the KVL, and what will we get? V is equal to I divided by three R 
plus i divided by 6r plus i divided by 3r. So here we can see that v equal to i divided by 3r plus i divided by 6r plus i divided by 3r. So v divided by i will be equal to 5r divided by 6 that we are getting. So our RAV, v divided by i is nothing but the equivalent resistance between a and b. Equivalent resistance between a and b. Okay. So equivalent resistance between a and b is the 5r divided by 6. Thank you for watching this video.